What's going on people? It's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to grab the data size of each worksheet in a workbook. So let's get into it. Alright, on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a workbook with four different tabs. Uh, first tab is the uh, list of New York Stock Exchange stocks. The next is the NASDAQ stocks and I've got a tab with cities and a tab with countries. And we want to find out what the size of each of these uh, tabs are. And we're going to list them out with our macro. So we will call this macro worksheet sizes. And we'll declare a variable. So we're going to have i as an integer. We're going to have our row count as an integer. Also, um, a tab check. So it'll check the number or it'll check a particular worksheet for us and then we're going to have a tab count which will count the number of tabs or sheets and then we're also going to have our tab name which will be the name of the tab that we create which is going to list the other tabs and their sizes and then we're going to have sh as a string and so sh and tab name are both strings and then we're going to have temp book so we're going to have to create a temporary book while we're doing this that'll be a string as well and we're going to have ws as a worksheet and we're going to have our new tab as a worksheet as well all right so first what we'll do is we'll set our tab check equal to zero and our tab count will just be equal to sheets count so what sheets count does it will just count the number of sheets in a workbook so in this case the count should be equal to four so tab count should be equal to four at this point and then our tab name so the name we're going to do we're going to use to create our new tab we'll call that worksheet um, worksheet sizes and then we'll quickly check to make sure that the worksheet sizes tab doesn't already exist because if it already exists, we'll get an error when we try to create it. So we'll do a for loop for that. So for i equals one to tab count. And at this point, the tab count is four. And we'll do next i to close the loop. And then inside of the loop, we're gonna say if sheets i name so it's going to go through each sheet if the name is equal to the tab name if it's equal to worksheet sizes then we're going to say tab check it's zero at this point it's going to change to one we're going to make it equal to one and then we'll end our if there that way we know that if we made it through the loop and, ta and tab check is one we won't have to create the worksheet sizes tab because that means it's already been created and that'll prevent us from hitting an error so now we'll use an if statement to say if tab check is still equal to zero at this point then we will create our worksheet and to do that we'll just say this workbook dot worksheets add and we're going to add the sheet before the first sheet. So it's going to get added here in the front. And in order to do that, we're just going to use application worksheets one. And then the name is going to be equal to tab name worksheet sizes. All right. So I messed something up. Okay. It needs, there needs to be an equal sign after the colon. All right. Never good. Okay, so let's keep it moving. Um, so now we can set our temporary book equal to this workbook. We want the path. And then we're going to just create a temporary file. We can just call it temp.xls. So this is a file that's going to be created um, from each one of these tabs. And you'll see what I mean as we continue on so we're going to set new tab 
So this is the new tab we created. Um, the worksheet sizes tab. Application worksheets tab name and now with new tab we're going to do sales clear so what we're doing sales clear because we want to make sure there's no data on the tab already so say we, we ran through the macro once, the worksheet sizes tab has been created and there's a bunch of data on it from previous tabs that we were looking at. We wanna make sure we clear all that data prior to um, populating the tab with the current data, the current size data. So we'll clear the, the, the tab and then in cells one one, we'll just put our headers. So the first header will just be our name, will just be named the name of the sheet. And then the second header, which will go in one two cell one two we'll just say it's gonna be size and um, the size will be in bytes hope that's how you spell it all right and uh, we can end our width and keep going so now for each WS so each worksheet so for each worksheet in this active workbook worksheets and then we're gonna hit next to close that loop and inside we're gonna say if WS name so if the worksheet name is not equal to the tab name then we want to consider it so in the if and what we want to do is copy that worksheet so what we're going to do is copy each one of these worksheets and then with the active workbook that we create as a from the worksheet we're going to save it so save as the temp book the temp book so it's going to have a temporary um, path file path and we're going to then close it and then not save those changes. This way, by, by saving it initially into that temporary file, we'll be able to grab the data. But we'll be able to grab the, um, you'll, see, you'll see later on in a couple of lines, you'll be able to grab the, 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 the amount of data there is in that file. So we'll know how much data is on the tab in this current workbook. So then this is gonna be equal to false. All right, so now our new tab, right? that we set up here, our new tab, which is gonna be the worksheet sizes tab. Our new tab, we're gonna activate it so that we can count the rows. So now we're gonna have our row count. So row count is gonna be equal to worksheet function, count a range, and we're gonna start from A1, range A1, and then end, and then we're gonna be counting from down from A1, so we want XL down, all right? And then with this new tab, let me end our width. What we're gonna do is cells, and similar to here, except instead of the static values here, one, 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 two, we want to use the current row count that we have. So the current row count, we want to add one to that because we know what the bottom of the row is. So we're going to add one to that and it's the same column, so one. So it's going to be right under the name header. And then as we continue through the loop, we're going to go down one and iterate through. So that's going to be equal to WS, the worksheet, the name of the worksheet. And then we're gonna do row count plus one again, except we're in column two this time under the size header. And here we're gonna use the file length function of workbook, the workbook, the temporary book, sorry, the temporary book that we created. So the file length will give us 
the size in bytes of that worksheet. All right. So now, what we what we need to do now though is that we'll have to kill the temporary book. Otherwise, we'll get an error because the temporary file path, this uh, file path, we won't be able to use it again. But if we kill it, it'll allow us to reuse it over and over again. So we have to kill that. So let's go ahead and run this and see what we get. What we want to see is a new tab that's called worksheet sizes that will contain the list of worksheet names here with their respective sizes next to them. So let's run it. Okay, so something's off here. So we're gonna have to fix this. So we've got our name. We've got, looks like a size here, but we're not getting what we need to get. So Here is the issue. We need a backslash. So let's try it again. Hmm. Oh. See that? Ah, <sighs> sorry about that. There we go. So simple. <clears throat> Okay, so now we see that the size of each of these tabs in bytes. And if we wanted to, see if we can divide by a thousand and then change this from bytes to kilobytes. See if that'll work. All right, yeah, looks a little better. And then you see all that noise um, from opening and closing and saving. We can get rid of that by using um, application, screen updating, equals false. And then We'll make it true again at the very bottom. So let's try to run it again. And you see that it's quiet, no noise. So if I were to like maybe delete one of these tabs, I'd expect to see the same list minus one of these tabs. See that? And then if I add a new tab, let's go add a couple. I should see the new tabs as well. Let's see, there we go. And yeah, there we have it. So um, pretty uh, convenient, especially if you have a file that's super big and you don't know which tab is causing the uh, size issue, if it becomes an issue for you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you in the next video.